Because by virtue of his lighter body weight over Alexei Petrov of Russia, who's also lifted 210, he was the man who called it a day and only snatched twice the former Olympic champion. He's on 385 behind the total of 392 of Pelosian. And at the moment in third place is Zagayev of Bulgaria, the youngster, with a total of 380. But Kakasvilis still to start, Koka still to start, Kolechki, the young Pole, still to... This is the first lift of... Uh, the Turk at 2.15, and I reckon this is where his greatest possibilities lie. David Goldstrom together with David Morgan in the stadium, stand still, feet together, three white, no, two to one, well. I didn't think it was a press out. That didn't look a problem to me, but the centre judge obviously wasn't satisfied. No, he had to, had to chase the weight, chucked it forward, but fair play to him he, he stepped forward to get back underneath the bar put himself into a into a better position need to see the front view here to really be able to judge well, well it, it's not the perfect angle but from that it looks okay yeah four meters by four meters the platform and this is focus being pumped just a reminder, we'd be very happy to have your emailed questions, www.weightlifting.de to uh, contact us here in the Peace and Friendship Stadium. We've got a couple of answers to some of the emails you sent us earlier, but this is Kokos, the silver medalist from the Snatch, two and a half kilos behind his teammate Kakashvilis, opening up here on the clean and jerk, 217 and a half. So... Very clearly, if he gets this, David, he's going to be into the lead big time. Well, I think uh, the bar getting a bit close to the windpipe there and uh, Kokos getting rid of it before it rendering him unconscious. It's on the adjustment that he brings it back close. At this point, feeling a bit dizzy and uh, putting it down before he starts getting into real problems. Now we should be able to see a bit better from here. Uh, you can't really, but I'm sure you're right. That's the that's the reason. Uh, and it's unfortunately for him, it's a crucial lost opportunity. Petrov, meanwhile, Olympic champion, world champion in '94 and again in '95. But '95, he had the title taken away from him after. A dope test uh, proved positive. In controversial circumstances, he was eventually exonerated. Well, he might have a bad elbow, but he's chucking these weights up. He doesn't look as, as muscular as he used to look. He looks a bit more plumper than, than, than I remember. Chubby. Yeah, he's chubbier than he used to be. His mum's doing the cooking, perhaps. Well, our certain friend's not doing the cooking because <laughs> she was the one who was accused of putting a substance in his drink. So I should think, I think he's very careful about who gives him what to eat. <laughs> Great atmosphere. Really is a real buzz because Greece have been so close to getting a gold medal. Last night, I mean, when I say a gold medal, of course, Demas last night took the snatch gold medal. We thought at the halfway stage that he could go on. Then we thought that Hooster, strong, clean and jerk, would come back. Then neither of them uh, performed in the way that we know they can when they're at their best. And suddenly Shairani comes through. But uh, Kakashvilis, same thing. He's taking the gold medal. Things are looking good. Got a good advantage, you see, hasn't he, David? Kakashvilis, who... Kakashvili is really known for his strength in the clean and jerk, and here breaking a world record on the snatch. And the interesting thing, unlike the Europeanski, was two and a half kilos ahead, he finds himself seven and a half ahead, and he's lighter than the young pretender. This is Kokos trying to put right the earlier mistake. Works hard, that's very good. Just didn't, didn't spend too long there with the bar across the shoulders, got rid of it straight away. He's the new leader. 220 kilos. Really zooms up the table now. 220 kilos. 
candidates for the second attempt of Alan Zagaev, Bulgaria. 402 and a half kilos, the total. Takes him 10 clear of Petrov and Pilosian. And the man who led the B group earlier, earlier today, Oleg Shumek of the Ukraine, who totaled out 390. He was the best of the B ranking group, is now off the podium. Strong effort there, good comeback, one more chance to go a little bit further. Zagayev of Bulgaria. Taking a huge jump, 12 and a half kilos. Yes, I think uh, Abadjiev starting him on 207.5, just to make sure that in this international arena, you know, he gets a total just to build his confidence. And now he said, right, OK, you've got a total, you're not going to win, but you want to take a big jump and go for some personal bests, let's do it. Well, he's done it. 220. This puts him on two uh, sorry, 392.5 and still one lift to go. Indeed. Well, our good friend Hilma Berger, who, uh, our, our German colleague who provides us with an awful lot of valuable statistics, he uh, was ferreting around because we knew nothing about this man. He came up with a figure of 400 that he thinks he's capable of total. So he's not that far away from it now. Well, Sudas, Bonyami, 215, going for 220. 220 to go with his snatch of 175. So this would take him up to 395, which would put him into second place overall at the moment. Yes, Sudas rushed the first attempt on 215. But uh, he's got a total, so maybe he'll settle down a bit now. Dive start. Cleans better. Now needs to chuck it straight overhead. She does, and that's much better. And that's the total that he lifted in the clean and jerk in the European Championships, 220. He had a total there of 390, so he's five kilos up on his European performance of earlier this year. And he's got one more opportunity to put a little bit more pressure. But still to start, Kakashvilis and Kolechki. Kakashvilis of Greece, Kolechki of Poland. Turks have not had too much to cheer about, but I must say that Sudas is giving them some hope. Not in the medals in the first half, he was ninth, down on 175 kilos, but he's making a bit of progress now. Now this is Alexei Petrov, 25 years of age. Junior world champion in 93 and 94, took the senior title in 94. Russians haven't had a great championships. Could do with a bit of success. Mind you, the big man goes tomorrow, Chamurkin. And that's 220 for Petrov. Nothing he's actually lifted today has looked has looked hard. He's really he really seems to be holding himself back. Takes him into third place and 395 the total. It's body weight that's deciding second and third place at the moment. Budnyami is lighter than Petrov, so holds on to that silver medal position. I think Petrov, probably knowing his condition, is using this as a stepping stone to the Olympics. So this would put Kakashvili straight into the lead with a 10 kilo total, just seven and a half down on that world standard. Well, if it was pyromania or pyromania last night, it's uh, cries for khaki from every corner of the stadium. Yakavu, the coach, trying to calm everybody down to let his man concentrate. Christoph Yakavu, the mastermind for Greece, as Abajiev is for Bulgaria as Mantec is for Germany. But there comes a point where it's down to the lifter, and this is the point for Kakashvilis.
Don't expect him to move until the last couple of seconds. Deep, deep. But gets up for the clean. Stands tall. Three whites. Yes, he wasn't as convincing as I've seen him before. I mean, his snatch was... I've never seen him snatch as good as he did today, but I've seen him clean and jerk weights better than that. Didn't catch the clean right. And uh, wasn't that comfortable overhead, but that's the lead. Well, you're looking at uh, Kakasvilis, who is at the moment 12 and a half kilos below his best clean and jerk. Simon Kolechki now, 222.5. Now, Kolechki's problem is that he was down in fourth place, seven and a half kilos behind Kakashvilis. So he's got to get this in, and then it's cat and mouse. Well, Kalechi is really going for it because he was down to start on 215. So after not perhaps not snatching quite as well as he's liked to, he decided to uh, take a seven and a half kilo jump on his original opening poundage, and uh, that looked okay. Yes, but it still leaves him seven and a half kilos behind, and he's heavier than Kakashvili's tonight. So at the moment, that's effectively 10 kilos behind. They've both got two lifts left. But it would be a monumental comeback for Kolechki to beat Kakas Willis. Pilosian, who's really performing by my book with credit. Now look at this, David. He's taken a, a 12 and a half huge kilos. Jump. 12 and a half kilos for the Armenian. Yeah, this is... Uh, this is 405 to pull him into second place. I'm just looking at body weight, 93.85. Well, he would go into third in the clean and jerk. No, he wouldn't. Yes, he would. He would go into third place in the clean and jerk. I feared it was too heavy. That was an enormous hit. I, I can't quite understand that. I think he was just trying to get back, at, back up into the medals. You know, he got it. I mean, it wasn't that stupid. He got a total. Once you got a total you got your points, then uh, you go for it. Kokos, who's currently in second place overall, 402.5, ahead of Kolechki. 92.60, plays at 93.39 in terms of kilos. But Kokos, five kilo increase. This would take him up to 407.5. He'd be two and a half behind his own teammate, Kakashvilis. And that would put them back to where they were at half time after the snatch but this is Kokos's last attempt so he can't beat Kakashvilis oh. I was about to say but he can ensure an overall medal well, that's a shame because he, he really cleaned that well and he might lose out because there's Kolechki, Bunyami still got a lift to go, Zagiev still got one in the wings. Kokos getting tremendous appreciation by this Greek crowd. He's got a medal, whatever happens, from the snatch, the silver. But there isn't a lifter here who won't tell you that the most valuable medal is one of the overall championship. Just crumples. on British Eurosport this um, We got a question about the Bulgarians. Uh, very quickly, um, what happened was that uh, Bulgaria sold a second string, as they put it, uh, of eight lifters to Qatar uh, two weekends ago, allegedly, reportedly, for around about a million dollars, which sounds a lot of money. It is a lot of money. Possibly not to all rich Qatar, but certainly to Bulgaria. 
and uh, the reward for Bulgaria was uh, funds to prepare for their Olympic team. The reward for Qatar was that the lifter formerly known as Peter Tanev produced their gold medal winning achievement in the men's 70 set to give Qatar their first ever world championship title now known as Badia of Qatar and he's only spent 40 days there but he's promised to go back and uh, spend a bit more time and learn a few words and even the national anthem he might have to sing it in Sydney if he can keep the progress going so that's the question of the Bulgarians hopefully that explains it we've talked a little bit about the grip and the tape I think so hopefully you've uh, had a better understanding of these bars that they're using here and the tape that you see on their hands. Meanwhile, this is now a very important lift for Kakashvili's 225. Second attempt, he's got four lifts out of four so far. This for four, 12 and a half total. Two and a half below the standard. Sorry, five below the standard. That's better. Yes, that was so much more efficient. Yeah, that was just a completely different lift. Technically, absolutely perfect. He wasted not an ounce of energy in doing that. And it's looking pretty good to me because he goes 4, 12 and a half. He's 10 kilos ahead of the field. Kalechki's got two lifts to go. Kakashvili's still got one reply. Now, what would you do if you were Kakashvili's? Let, let, let Kalechki get in there and keep the one lift up your sleeve, wouldn't you? Um... Because Kalechki is going to come for 225. That still leaves him seven and a half kilos behind. Effectively 10 because he's heavier. So he's matching pace. Or perhaps what he's doing is deciding that he might just go for the clean and jerk gold and settle for silver overall. Yes, I mean, after that clean 225 by Kakashvili, um, I really don't think there's any way that this young man can take the overall so as, as you quite rightly say he's just going to build he's going to see if he can get a clean and jerk medal or a clean and jerk gold medal it's a good lift very good and it takes Kolechki up to 405 kilos in the overall silver medal position, pushes Kokos of Greece down to overall bronze. But still an outsider who can spoil, and that's uh, Zagayev. Now this is really important because this man weighed in at 93.12 kilos and body weight, if he can get this, if he can get this, I think he's going to get a medal. Because Kokos is the man in trouble. This would put Sudas into a clean and jerk medal position, but Kokos would still hang on to third overall. Too heavy? Well, I think the, uh, the buzzer went off there. I think the elbows just clipped the knees, which of course is an infringement on the rules. And uh, two referees saw it, and uh, the buzzer sounded, so he, he put it down. Here, we'll have a look at it again. Watch the elbows. Well spotted. That was a touch on the right elbow. We think, don't we, that it's a bit of an unnecessary rule. It's a set. There, you can see the coach saying, what on earth? So that's a sad end to uh, Sudas's challenge. He ends on 395, currently in fourth place overall. There's uh, Zagayev uh, lurking around. He's on 392. So even if he gets this, which is seven and a half kilos up, let's have a quick... This will take him to 400. He can't overtake Kokos, who now, I think, David, is safe in bronze medal overall position. But what he can do, of course, is... Go to the gold medal on the clean and jerk. Yep. He's on 220 at the moment, Zagayev. And so is Sudas 
on 220 and so is Petrov. So just having a look at the, the body weight here is absolutely crucial. And at the moment, Sudis is the light man on the clean and jerk at 220 in bronze medal position. So Zagiev worried to get this, would push Sudis out of the medals. What a debut this would be on the international stage. Another so day. close. <laughs> 500 day. pounds. <laughs> well, he's given it a good shot. As you rightly said, Abajiev has, has kept him cool and calm, and then he's given him his chance. But I wonder how much improvement Abajiev can get into this man in 10 months. Because he's not that far away. I'll tell you what, the day that he quits for Bulgaria, the day Bulgaria have, will have the trouble. I don't know what it is about him, but there are people in coaching, there are coaches. He is very special. You can't define it. Pakashvili's for a new world record to set the standard. No one has put their name to 230 kilos. The rules and regulations of the International Weightlifting Federation say that you can't just equal 230. You've actually got to put half a kilo on to break it. To me, that's a bit daft, but nevertheless. Well, this, this would actually equal the world total standard as well. This will put him on 417 and a half. But he can't get the total standard because you have to break that by two and a half kilos. More of that in a minute. You're looking really at the world champion. He certainly will be the world champion if he lifts this because I can't see Simeon who's got one lift to go. It would be the most extravagant attempt of all history if... Kakashvili gets this. Just caught the knees. He doesn't get it. He's on 412 and a half. Now, effectively, David, Kolechki would need 10 kilos, which means he needs 240. Not gonna, it's not going to happen. I would think that Kolechki will now come out on 230.5 to try and take the world record cleaner joke and the gold medal. And that would be his big consolation prize. Didn't get a medal in the snatch. Well, missed out there. Look at this. The bar's going to 235 kilos. Actually, no, 235 kilos. Remember, uh, Kakashvili's finished on 225, so Kolechki is actually going for the gold medal. Absolutely right. And this would be, this would also be, no, it wouldn't be a total record. Well, who cares about the total? I, I, this is outrageous. <laughs> well, well this, youngster, this youngster wants it, and he wants it more than anyone else. So, here's the young man at 18 years of age, 12 years younger. There's our colleagues Mark Hooster there, bronze medalist from last night, together with Ron Ringuth, our German colleague. And this is Kolechki. This will be almost an ironic ending because if you remember, Kakashvili lifted this weight in the 92 Olympic Games, came right from, from behind. Can he clean it? He's needs to stop. drive through while the jerks is stronger phase. Oh. Brave, brave attempt. And Kakashvilis is the first world champion for Greece at the 1999 World Weightlifting Championships in the Peace and Friendship Stadium. Kalechki, an outrageous, a cheeky attempt. But the Greeks have got what they thought they were going to get last night with Pyrrhus Demas. But the man who has delivered gold for Greece is Kakashvilis. Akika. Akakios Kakashvilis, at the age of 30, a fourth world championship title, 95, 97, 98, and 99. And there he is. The penultimate day, with a total of 412 and a half kilos. 
But just look at this, David, 235 kilos. Just look at it, drives through that biting point. This man, I mean, he's, he's, what is he, 18 years of age? What are we talking, 38 stone? It, it's, it's, oh, it's, it's, in, it's, it's well over 500 pounds, it's outrageous. They're erupting in the stadium. And so to the moment that the Greek audience here have hoped for for seven days, but it's arrived now. Akaki Kakashvilis takes the overall gold medal championship presented by Gottfried Schertl, the president of the International Weightlifting Federation. Gold in the snatch, gold in the clean and jerk, gold overall, the championship trophy. Fantastic ever, David. Best uh, competition of the championship so far, certainly for atmosphere, I think. Fantastically close, it's what the Greeks wanted. And they got it, but uh, <laughs> this man, he fought all the way, didn't he? he? Took that huge weight of 235 kilos and he wasn't far off. As you said a little earlier, for Simeon, he'd like a little bit before the next Olympics. Kakas Vilis would like the Olympics tomorrow. That's right. But now, Leonidas, Leonidas Kokas, the bronze medal, and they're trying to get Yakovu on the stage, the coach, the mastermind. But it's Kokas, a silver in the snatch, a bronze overall, a terrific evening's lifting, and I hope you've enjoyed it. From David Goldstrom and David Morgan, thanks for your company. Join us tomorrow live for the Super Heavyweights, Weller versus Jamurkin on Eurosport.